Hey, long riders! Welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing, your favorite YouTube fly fishing YouTube channel, the best one on YouTube. Welcome back. If you're new here, you're gonna want to click and subscribe because you're not gonna want to miss any of our tying or fishing videos, full of information. So maybe you can help you catch more fish. And today we are at the sock. We had a blast. I think they had stocked it two weeks or a week before, and they just loaded it with fish. Uh, it's hard to find a place in Pennsylvania that they don't stock. Uh, Pennsylvania has a stocking program that they put fish in almost, they put fish even in all your like catch and release areas. It's, we're going tomorrow to go help stock white deer. We'll talk more about that at the end of this video. If you want to help us stock the fly stretch in our area. So Tracy kills them on this olive lively legs that we're gonna do the tying part of next after this video so make sure you like I said subscribe so you don't miss that tying video. She caught all these fish on one fly. The first one she caught she hooked in the second cast it was a huge fish. We have no idea how big it is. I guarantee it was over 20 inches. It's a huge fish and it straightened out the hook. Um, leave a comment if you've ever had this happen to you. I straightened out the hook, got out. I retook my uh, forceps. We can re-straighten the hook, bend the hook back, and she caught the rest of the fish, and it's still in her box. So, and she caught a lot of fish on that, so it had to be a big fish to straighten it out. But I just straightened it back, and then it's good to go. So, that's a test of my tying, so you're gonna wanna watch the tying video. But anyway, without any further wait, let's go to the fishing video right now. EFF Fly Fishing. Let the action begin. We are here at the sock again. They just stocked us like two weeks ago or a week ago. And we're here on the Keystone Select. They PA puts bigger fish in these PA Select waters. So we're here. We're gonna do some fishing. Probably till dark. It's a little chilly, wind's blowing, so I have to come back to the car once in a while and warm up. But we're gonna go check this out. These waters, we were here a while back and made a video. We weren't here very long. It was cold, the water was real high. So we're gonna check it out. But maybe the water ain't as high today. It's a little clearer, not as muddy. Well, let's see how we do. Catch me on the water. Later. I'm gonna try on the goon stone. I'll try that. Holy cow, straightened out our hook! So come here and tell me what to use it. Get up close. Get up close and close now. Alright, there you go. I'm gonna go here. I am using the lively legs. Olive. I'm getting up here. Maybe I'll show you guys. Can you see it on the camera? How's it look? Okay, so. okay, no. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hmm. I don't think you can see it. I don't know. I don't know. It's working pretty well. Awesome fly. Tell them, we've been already fishing. I, I hooked into, we've been fishing already. I hooked into a real big one, lost it. Really nice fish. Caught two other fish. I've only been fishing this. Works really well. I'm gonna go try it out some more.
So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let you up here fishing with her, and I'm gonna go down creek, and then in a little bit I'll bring you guys down. You hang out up with her up here and watch her fish for a little bit. And we're both just using that lively legs and a strike indicator. That's all we're doing. And when we were here earlier, there was a lot of fish here. It was loaded with trout. I mean, just loaded with fish in this pool of the creek. So we're gonna fish here probably the rest of the night, I think. And it's really nice so we can set the camera up here and nobody will bother us. Don't have to worry about our camera getting stolen or anything like that. So we're gonna fish, you're gonna fish with uh, Tracy for a little while and then you can down and fish with Dustin. Let's go fishing with Tracy. Okay, so you can see me. I got the olive right there, olive blue legs. And then I got about, I don't know, about uh, three or four feet. I tip it because this water is really deep out here and I'm gonna keep it on the bottom. And as I'm out here fishing, I could see, I could see the, the big fish laying in the water because it's really clear. So we're gonna go out here, we're gonna try and target some of these big fish so we can see them moving around and feed, actively feeding. So we're gonna get out here and work with the seeing spot and these bigger fish and try and target them down here. You see Tracy is way up creek. Tracy is way up there. You can see her. Tracy is way up there. Okay. We are way down here. Tracy has a fish. She has a fish on. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe you can, I can't with this little screen. She's got a big hook, she's got a fish on. It is just, it is literally, literally just loaded with fish in this hole. It's a sandy bottom in the, uh, in the uh, PA Select, and we are just slaughtering them in here. So we're gonna go back in here. We'll probably fish this hole just loaded with fish, and this hole goes way down in, and we can fish this hole, all this hole, and it's a big hole. So we're gonna stay here and we're gonna go ahead and target some of these big fish. This one, baby. Hey. Just to show you, look at this fish. Look how pretty it is. This is a keystone select. Look at that fish. Okay, we're gonna put him back.
our third trip to the creek. We're back in the car from warming up. So it's probably our final one. It's around six o'clock. And I uh, wish we would have been here all day. It is just loaded with fish. So we're gonna go back out and fish our final third trip to the creek. See how we do it, make out. We did catch about six, seven piece, and uh, Tracy caught a really big one, and uh, it strained out the hook. Uh, it just might have been that hook, faulty hook. And uh, so that was, this is about it. We're ready to go home, we're freezing. I'm shaking if you can't tell. So we're gonna give it up for the day. Uh, I think Sunday or something we're gonna go to uh, White deer today is Friday. She had off, so that's why we, uh, and I did too, so that's why we fished here. So it was a really good day. I mean, it is just loaded with fish here. This is a, this is called the Sandy Bottom. It's the very end of the catch and release area, or the uh, Keystone Select Waters. It's right here at the end. Of, we just kind of stayed at this hole because there was people up further and we didn't run into, run into anybody and everybody seemed to go up water so we stayed here so I gotta get back to the car I'm freezing but it's been a very good day and uh, so hopefully I got some good fishing videos for you uh, it's been really fun uh, see you back at the studio hey welcome back long riders and uh, here at the end of this video, you'll get a chance to check out some more of our great fishing videos that we made in the past and see how we're making better fishing videos as we go. Uh, I missed a lot of camera action with the fish I caught. I only got very few on the camera. That really pretty one, I kept that in the water the whole way to the net, or all the way to the camera. It stayed in the water and I didn't have it out of the water more than a minute and I put it back in the water right away and so then it swam off it was fine I just wanted to clarify that I didn't kill that fish to get the picture so that was pretty we had a great day it was a lot of fun uh, there's not much more I have to say about it I kind of covered it all on the video uh, if you're new here make sure you subscribe right down there 
and uh, like and comment on my video and tell us how we can make better fishing videos, what you think I did wrong, what you think you liked about it. Just uh, comment and let me know how I can make these videos and you like them better and you watch them more. Uh, keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.